So are you working with Rhino 6? Did you know you could be working with Rhino 7? Did I mention that it's free? Let me show you how to get it. So to download your version of Rhino 7 or the Rhino WIP, our work in progress version as McNeil refers to it as, uh, go ahead and fire up your browser of choice and head on over to rhino3d.com. And once you're there, go ahead and click that download link. And at this point, I'm gonna to need to make some choices. So just a couple notes here. The version of Rhino that is available for Windows is about a generation ahead in its development. Uh, the Rhino version for Mac is uh, a newer product, so it's just had less time to be developed. Um, so for all the latest and greatest features, those are only going to be in the version that is available for Windows. Um, I've never even played, honestly, with the Rhino work in progress version for Mac. So um, if anyone has any input on that, please do sound off in the comments. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the Serengeti build here link. And that's going to take me to a post in the Rhino forums that is going to contain the up-to-date version of the Rhino WIP. Uh, and it's also going to offer some words of caution that we should pay attention to. Number one, this is a work in progress, and so therefore the work is not necessarily stable or production ready. The, the software is fine. It, it works well. There may be bugs in it, and it might be a kind of thing that you'd want to hold back on if this is like client-dependent work. Um, but it's great uh, to play around with and test out new features in Rhino and uh, see what new techniques and uh, workflows are available. So do not uninstall your version of Rhino uh, 6 in our case because we're on a, uh, on a Windows machine. Uh, Rhino 7's file format is also changing. So if you wanna be safe, save down as a Rhino 6 file format uh, and don't depend on the saved files from Rhino 7 continuing to being, uh, to being able to be opened in Rhino 7. That's not necessarily the case. Uh, so also, plug-in compatibility is probably not there, so uh, if your work depends on that, you can forget about it for now. Uh, but the good news is that Grasshopper definitions should work in Rhino 7, so if that's a big part of your work, some good news for you. So go ahead and click that link to download. Uh, you're going to need to select a language and go ahead and uh, download whichever version that it is that you're going to be downloading. And once that's downloaded, go ahead and install that and launch that version of Rhino. Okay, so I've launched Rhino 7 here, or uh, you know what? I'm not going to refer to it as WIP or work in progress. Rhino 7 just rolls off the tongue so much easier. So I've got Rhino 7 open here, and you'll see this little splash screen that shows you the number of days that you have left. And don't worry, this is not, you know, when you are going to expire. Uh, or even when Rhino is going to expire. It's just going to be when this particular build expires. Um, and before that uh, that counter is up, there is going to be a new version of Rhino 7 that is available for you to download. And then that resets that clock and you know everything is fine. So if that's concerning to you, don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this window. And I've already gone ahead and set up the interface to be more or less how I like to use it. And honestly, it's not that much different than Rhino 6, at least on the surface, uh, at least not yet. Um, so we'll see what changes uh, still are to be made, but um, go ahead and play around with this. There are some really great new features that I'm gonna cover in a couple other videos. Um, I'd love to hear if you guys have any questions about it. Uh, I mean, there will be some, of course, I can't really answer because I think the development is still in progress, and I can't, you know, I don't, I don't work for McNeil. I can't really speak to what the future of it is. But uh, if you guys have any questions, please do post about it in the comments, and uh, I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think of it. Um, McNeil also loves to hear if you guys have uh, issues with it. Uh, the whole reason, in fact, for releasing the next version free to all existing license holders is so the company can get feedback and they're really responsive when uh, users have issues with the software. So if you encounter trouble, um, they're more than happy to hear about it and see what they can do to resolve those issues. So um, have fun and uh, yeah, don't forget to save your files Rhino 6 if you're using uh, Rhino 7. So um, yeah, get out there, experiment and enjoy. <laughs>